So last week, I didn't know how bad the animation was because I honestly, I didn't pause the video. Like I, I just watched it and it, it was a scene that I had already seen in the movie. So I, I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. But then the memes started popping up online and I actually went back and wow. Out of all those shots, here's my favorite. Look at Goku's face in this frame. Holy crap. You would think that I'm, I'm making this up for jokes, but I'm not. If you want to know the exact time, it's 12 minutes and 18 seconds in. I kind of get the feeling that the studio knows that since Dragon Ball is so popular, everybody's going to watch it regardless. So, you know, even if it's like the animation is total shit, people are still going to tune in. In all honesty, the animation for this episode, for this week's episode was better. Um, the close-ups look good. It's just like the, the long distance shots that, you know, are kind of problematic. Like the enormous amount of work that went into Piccolo's face in this shot here. This is just a comedy episode though, uh, to build up Beerus even more. You got Vegeta acting out of character, which is really funny. It's, it's They changed, obviously they keep changing stuff from the movie. In this case, he starts cooking some takoyaki goes into the ocean, pulls out an octopus. It's funny, but it's also kind of weird because you normally don't see Vegeta act like that. And he's like shitting his pants all over this episode. And then he has like a flashback of like what happened to his dad because he didn't give Beerus the good pillow. That was an added flashback, by the way. But when the God of Destruction shows up to your house, you better give him the good pillow. I mean, that and that shit better be nice and clean because some people do some weird shit with their pillows. So, you know, if that shit smells like ass and Lord Beerus has like some DBZ type hockey from One Piece King's hockey because he's making Vegeta like just bend over well not he he kind of like gets immobilized by just the sheer potency of of his aura and presence and it's it's like it's it's total King's hockey speaking of One Piece shout out to Luffy slash Krillin and I think I heard Buggy's voice in this episode as well. Now there's this one part where Trunks gets Beerus wet and it's very weird because he starts he starts powering up you see an aura and I'm like Chill, like, do you want to destroy the Earth? Because we've seen him destroy planets by just tapping his finger. What are you doing now? Like, just showing off? Like, just for fuck's sake? Anyway, uh, Yamcha is like, I'm one of the strongest fighters here. The strongest. I think he said the strongest, like, period. I think Vegeta should have shot him before Yamcha was able to touch Beerus at all. Beerus wants some pudding, and Boo licks all of it, because he's like, fuck you. And then <laughs> they get into this, I guess if you could call it a fight, but Boo, like, repeatedly starts hitting Beerus in the face. I'm like, how the hell is he not going to destroy the Earth? I mean, just repeatedly, boom. And then Satan is there to, like, try and break up the fight, and both of them just flick their finger. That, that should have killed him. We've seen what that flick did to Goku. Boo gets his ass beat. It's a spanking. It's just, yeah, straight up. Uh, and I kind of wish that Beerus would actually, this is going to sound really bad, but I kind of wish that Beerus would actually start killing people. <laughs> but even if people were to die, I mean, it's Dragon Ball. And Bulma has the Dragon Balls there, so it's like, you know, just, just wish him back. That's the thing, like, if, if you have that ability when it comes to death, of, like, bringing people back, then, then you can use that as a, as a narrative device more often. It would get kind of ridiculous by the end, but it sounds like a fun suggestion to me. Anyway, so what do you think... If you've seen the movie, Battle of Gods, you know what's coming up. What do you think the quality level of the animation is going to be for the upcoming fight? What is happening is that it's fluctuating. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's horseshit, sometimes it's decent. So what, what, what are your expectations? Another question I have is, does the quality of the animation, plus the fact that you kind of already know where the story is headed, at least to a certain point, does that, like, prevent you as a DBZ fan? Does that prevent you from enjoying the show? I mean, at any level? Please leave me a comment down below answering those questions. Like the review if you did, I appreciate that. Overall, it was a, it was a comedy-based episode. I thought it was enjoyable. Uh, like I said, like the review and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks, guys.